Muslims fast from dawn until sunset for 30 days. It's the month of Ramadan, a month so different than the rest of the year. It has its own special vibes and traditions, not to mention all the new experiences. In this beautiful, charming city of Cairo, let's experience one of Ramadan's daily routine, iftar. Ramadan is all about gatherings and connecting people. And now, everyone around us are waiting for the sunset. The one behind this amazing Ramadan mood, Mr. Mustafa Mahmoud. Thank you so much for this. احنا الحمد لله احنا فينيو افراح وحفلات فاحنا اوريدي طول السنه احنا 11 شهر شغالين على نفس السيستم ان احنا بيجي لنا 100 200 300 400 وات ايفر بياكلوا في نفس الوقت فالحمد لله عندنا السيستم ده دايما الناس في رمضان بتبقى حابه الاورينتال وحابه الفانوس فحابه الخيمه حابه اللمبات اللي هي الكهارب بيسموها بالبلدي الكهارب سام بيبل ماي ثينك ذات ذاتس ات ذات رمضان اندز افتر ذا سان سيت بس دي كودنت بي مور رونج in fact, Ramadan begins after everyone has had their iftar. And now that we've recharged our tummies, let's see what's going on. Ramadan is all about lanterns. Lots and lots of lanterns, also known as fanus in the Arabic language. And you will never see any lantern in any other time of the year. the owner of one of the lanterns shop who is going to tell me a lot about this beautiful tradition in Egypt Mr. Walid Abu Faris من اول شهر رجب الناس عارفه ان موسم رمضان داخل عليه بيبداوا هم بقى يدوروا اللي عايز يجيب هديه لخطيبته اللي عايز يجيب حاجه لوالدته اللي عايز يجيب هديه لبنته We have another tradition that you will find only in Ramadan which is Yamish let me show you Yamish is basically dried fruits like dates, plum or figs, or nuts like raisins, walnuts and almonds. And now I'm with Nasser, the owner of a Yamish shop, who will tell me more about this tradition during the holy month. في عندك مثل الزبيب في كله كذا نوع وفي كمان مثلاً المشمشية بيجي من تركيا الأراصية بيجي كمان من الأرجنتين التين بيجي مثلاً من سوريا والبلح من مصر. I think it's about time we try some of the Yamish here in Egypt. If there is one thing that Ramadan is known for, it would definitely be the desserts. Here in Egypt, during the holy month, you can find a wide variety of Middle Eastern desserts, such as basbousa, konefa, and atayif, and I really cannot wait to show you more. Let's see. And now, I'm with Mr. Raif Mohammed, owner of one of the oldest dessert shops here in Egypt, and he will tell me everything about the delicious meals behind me. We have a mushroom with basbousa and ishta. We have a mushroom with a name called Dynamite, the rose of Lalan, with basbousa, with kunafa, with ishta. So, uh, I'm going to try now his famous dish, which is called Dynamite. Let's go. Having my first dynamite dessert. Mm. This is the most delicious dessert I've ever had in a very long time. Amazing. And that's how it usually goes in Ramadan. Time just flies by, but we're not done yet. I have to finish my dynamite first. See you around.